Okay? And uh, so, uh, because we are uh, following what we call a uh, holistic uh, approach, uh, uh, we uh, try to uh, match the requirements of uh, the so-called sustainable development goals. So if you will notice, our uh, unified uh, or harmonized R&D agenda is following uh, actually the, the framework of the sustainable development goals and uh, uh, also in terms of uh, uh, approving uh, research uh, proposals, we uh, follow that uh, prioritization and uh, framework. Now, uh, uh, all of you have uh, probably heard but consider a uh, good news, and this was when uh, our uh, global uh, uh, innovation index uh, ranking rose from uh, 73 to 54, or a 19 step uh, upward uh, increase in ranking. And uh, while, uh, of course, there are many factors that contribute to it, uh, the so-called uh, output innovation uh, factors and the input innovation factors, uh, we had uh, uh, scored more on the output uh, innovation uh, factors. Uh, as you know, the input is really uh, very limiting. The budgets are still very small. Uh, the uh, not-so-good news is that uh, we had... Uh, we had spent a very short time defending our budget in both houses, okay? Minutes only, okay? Eh, kaya lang, wala naman dagdag. So it is practically the same uh, level of budget. Kaya siguro wala nang tinanong sa amin. Okay. Now, uh, but there are other, uh, other sources that we are uh, getting and uh, uh, of course, uh, there are also some uh, people in the legislative who really work hard so that we can get additional, uh, even to the extent of uh, reducing other departments' budgets. Okay, so meron tayong matatanggap this year from that. So, sabi uh, nila, everything uh, seems to converge, okay? At the right time, uh, we have... Uh, uh, all these uh, very favorable conditions other than the budget where our scientists abroad seems to uh, well understand our needs and uh, have the arts to, uh, to serve. Uh, whether it is a short-term or long-term engagement, we will be very, very happy. And uh, uh, siempre, it's really the uh, word of mouth, okay? One uh, uh, Filipino scientist uh, in the country where he serves, uh, will probably learn of his experience and uh, uh, the others uh, will think of uh, following. But there is really one uh, project that uh, our uh, coordinators of scholarship are also uh, implementing and uh, this is at the level of the baccalaureate scholarships because now uh, when NSDB started in 1958, they were talking only of uh, less than 100 uh, scholars a year. But now we are taking in, uh, for 2019, we took in almost 9,000 uh, freshman uh, scholars. And uh, since the number of applicants has greatly increased between, uh, for the last two years, from uh, something like 50 to 80, and then this year the number of applicants increased to 112,000, uh, we also would like to increase these slots to around uh, at least 12,000 uh, new slots for 20 uh, uh, 20 and uh, the reason is that uh, we really want to cover all the municipalities and cities of the Philippines so that they will have its a scholar and uh, it has been shown okay through fact, uh, uh, facts and of course the testimonials of our scholars since the big bulk of our scholars at the undergraduate are from uh, uh, the below poverty level uh, families, okay? Of course, we have also those at the merit uh, scholarship category, uh, which does not uh, uh, distinguish, uh, shall we say, uh, uh, in the, uh, does not distinguish or uh, uh, between the rich and poor, okay? Plus the merit. But uh, for the rest, uh, of about uh, between, uh, it, it, it uh, fluctuates between 70 to 60 to 70 percent are uh, from uh, the children of uh, families uh, before be below the poverty level. And uh, of course, you can uh, uh, say that in general, uh, for uh, every scholar that we uh, sponsor and uh, is able to complete his or her studies coming from a poor family, that scholar is able to pull up the whole family from uh, poverty. And uh, so 
uh, we co consider that as an important uh, contribution. Uh, but uh, uh, more than that, we also want them to contribute and to, uh, shall we say, uh, feel uh, uh, that they have uh, also an obligation to give back. And uh, so uh, our uh, our people at the Science Education Institute, which is administers the scholarships, uh, thought of implementing a new program. They call it the Patriot Program. I don't know whether it is an acronym or a real, it stands for the real name Patriot, but this is really inculcating in them, okay, the, the importance of serving the country. And there is a component of uh, actual immersion uh, for at least a week uh, for every uh, scholar so that they will have a feel of uh, what are the needs and what are the opportunities. And I think uh, uh, it is a good uh, approach or uh, strategy. So I uh, won't, won't go long with this uh, 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 message because uh, there are very, very good presentations that are lined up uh, today. Uh, I will uh, have to cross over from here to uh, uh, the so-called National Technology Business uh, Incubation uh, Summit, uh, which has gathered a big group okay, of uh, uh, young Filipino startup entrepreneurs. And uh, to my surprise, they have partners now from other countries. Uh, I was asking, what is the meaning of TBI? 4.0 because it, in industry you have an IR 4.0 what is the meaning of TBI 4.0 and I learned that 1.0 when this was when we started TBIs in the early 90s it was just provision of space okay 2.0 you already offered shared facilities and technical advisory services 3.0 you already have the amenities and the production facilities at their uh, at their service okay and 4.0 i learned is really more of uh, uh, co-incubation partnerships okay to enlarge their market and to enlarge their capabilities uh, so this is why uh, i was so, i was surprised that yesterday there were so many other young uh, technopreneurs from other countries who were apparently in partnership with our own uh, startup entrepreneurs. So uh, we will uh, uh, transfer from here to there. Uh, also to sign uh, or to announce the signing of the implementing rules and regulation of the newly signed law, which is called the Startup Innovation Act, which was signed by the president, which will again give a boost okay, to our ecosystem for startup uh, uh, enterprises. So I think uh, I always uh, Avoid talking of the of the ano tawag dito? not so good things. Kaya hindi ko na ikukwento yung mga problema, masyadong mababang budget, masyadong mababang ratio, ganito. Uh, pabayaan mo na iba magsabi nun. And I think I will just talk about what, because uh, I, I have to be an optimist. You know, my all my siblings went abroad after their graduation from UP. I was the only one left. <laughs> My wives, uh, all of them, eight of them in the family, all went to the U.S. after graduation. Only my wife returned because I told her, if you will not return, I will also marry. <laughs> <laughs> so she came home. Uh, and that, was, uh, that kept me more optimistic. Thank you. Everyone, I believe our DOST secretary deserves another round of applause. It's a privilege to hear your speech again, sir. And actually, it made me feel like there's no average intelligent person in this room. So everyone, let's invite more highly intelligent, exceptional, remarkable, genius friends of ours to cooperate and share the, their ideas and expertise here in our own country, the Philippines.